Hi friends, in this session we will discuss one of the simple algorithm tracking current max element in a stack at any given point of time. The, the max element can be at the top of the stack, middle of the stack or bottom of the stack. We will keep performing push operations, pop operations whenever we ask tell me what is the max element at this situation we should able to return it. In a simple way, let's say uh, we'll take a stack. Initially, I pushed 10 at this point of time. 10 is the max element. Then I push 12. 12 is the max element at given this point. I'll push 2. 2 is the max element. Sorry, 12 is the max element at this point. Then continue adding 20. So 20 is the max element. Now let's say when I perform pop, I'll remove 20. At this point, 12 is the max element. I should be able to return 12. So how can I write a logic to achieve this? So in order to achieve this, we need uh, two stacks, one main stack, and I need another temporary stack. I will use temporary stack to store maximum numbers only. Let's say that let's define this is the main stack and there is a temp stack which stores only max elements. So first I'll, I'll store 10 since uh, there is no other numbers. 10 is the max number at this moment. Now I'll add 5. When I push 5 and I compare with the top of the element, 5 is less than 10. So I'm not going to push because 10 is the max element at this given situation. Now I'll add 8. Then again compare 8 with 10 and 8 is less than 10 so 10 is the max element at any given point of time now i'll add 28 so in this case 28 is bigger than 10 i will add it here so now again i'll add 12 12 will be compared with top of this stack and 28 is bigger than 12 so I'm not going to push 12 to this stack let's say that if I add 44 in this stack then 44 will be compared with top of this stack and it's bigger than 28 I'll push it here so now I'm going to perform a pop operation I removed 44 when I do pop operation, I always compare this popped element with top of this stack. If they are equal, I will do pop out from this stack also. So now, if I want to know what is the max element at this given situation, the top of element for this stack is 28. That is the max element. Now if you notice, the entire stack 28 is the max element. So this is how we track the max element at given string. Let's write code now. Create a new class. Max element. Let's initialize two stacks. Want to keep track of all elements. Here we define um, integer stack. And we define another stack to keep track of maximum elements. We'll name it max stack. We'll write a method called push, which returns nothing. It takes an integer input. As a first step, we'll simply push this element to max stack main stack
now in order to push to max rack we need to check two condition the first condition is the input must be always equals to or greater than top of the max stack or max app can be np so if max stack is empty or input is always greater than or equal to max stack dot top that's peak so peak returns the top of the element so in this situation only we will push the input to max stack so now we write pop operation public void pop we will simply perform pop operation on main stack which returns the popped element so int popped element we got it so now what we do in order to perform pop operation on max stack we compare with the top of the element in case it is equals to the top of the element then only we perform top operation sorry pop operation on max stack if max stack dot peak is equals to popped element then only we perform pop on this stack here So we'll return the popped element for our reference. Actually, not required, but uh, in case if we want to use any uh, printf statements, this will be helpful. Now, write a method to get the max element at any time. Max. So in this case we simply return popped max stack dot peak we need to test this code we'll write a main method create an object to this class keep pushing elements emi dot push 23 29 now let's see what is the max element or we'll add one more element which is 12 max element so if we run this let's see what result we will get here we're supposed to get 29 So the element is 29 we'll add one more element that's 45 and we'll run oh sorry i forgot to print the max element here so now the max element is 45 we will add couple of other uh, where couple of other pushes where 33 18 and we do pop 
two three times pop operation and we'll see what is the max element so at this given point of time 45 is the max element thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel